Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you to test categories controller. So first of all login into the system by, uh, by using the postman and here we have a login credentials uh, for the admin uh, rahul at the rate of outlook.com and rahul at the rate of 123 and here we have a access token that is like that and in the category section we, uh, here we have a API categories and get category method that is the first method get category and uh, here we have a action api controller so just you can use it and just click on the login button and here we have these are the categories id title image url and this like that 200 uh, is a okay status message okay so uh, there is the uh, first method that is get category and the second method is get category by id mm, and the uh, a route parameter is not mentioned so id and category with the id parameter so just use it just i want to get the first category in the fill so here we have so now uh, here we have some uh, here we have some uh, fields in the categories controller you can see in the categories controller so uh, that is the get category cat and the post categories and the put also categories delete categories so these are the options actually you can check yourself okay so the next one is the product and just i want to add some products so just open it in the product form and here we have a get all products so just first of all match the url base api url so in the product list so just add it here api in the product and you can check the products controller and here we have a api in slash controller and authorization is the role admin and just just get all these product uh, so all these products API and slash products authorization is bearer authorization okay so here we have a token and just click on to the button and here we have some uh, products okay and if you want to get product by category id so just paste the category id first of all and the action that is the products by category id so you can use products and slash products by category id and slash one for the category id so here we have a category id one and these are the in included three product, uh, products okay so uh, the next one is popular products popular products i mean to say that uh, is popular uh, is true so just use it and paste it here click on the sign button and here we have a popular products 1357 that is the old number for popular products and the next one is the post action method you can check yourself put delete okay so one by one you can check it and the next one is cart controller just i want to add a product in the cart so this so just I want to add uh, some product in the cart. So the, here we have a post action method for the cart. And here you can check it. And uh, the base API is this like that. So just copy that. And here we have a paste uh, post action method. API in the carts. So just open the carts detail first of all. In the controller section. So here we have a cart controller and uh, the post action method is this like that. So this is the post action method in the cart and just open in the cart here we have a id there is id is not mentioned in the field product id that is the product id is 1 just I want to get the first product price is what the first product price is you can check in the database table there is the product table and here we have some product information which is stored in the database table and you can check it 
wait for some times or here we have a first is the veg rice and delicious and taste that is the price is 8 so the price is 8 so price is 8 and quantity is 2 and the total amount is 16 and the customer id is what customer id is i mean to say that just open the users table and here we have a uh, okay tharun tharun is a 2 jacob is 7 so just use 7 user id and just click on the send button 201 is created i mean to say that we here we have a cart detail so uh, just open the cart information just cart control and the cart id total items total amount and delete so here we have a post and the get by their user id so so the next method first of all call post and and the user id is just like that cards and user id there is the user id is 7 and the base api url so here we have and the bearer token is bearer token just click on the send button so here we have a id 6 price is 8 total amount is 16 quantity is 2 and product name is wage rice so this is the information which is stored in the card if you want to add another information in the card so you can just click on the product id is 2 price is what price first of all check and the product id is 2 and the product price is 10 rupees product price is 10 rupees quantity is 2 total amount is 20 and customer id is 7 so cart is already there and just click on the get button and here we have a two um, price similarly if you want to add the same uh, product in the cart like that just click on the send button and here we have some information which is uh, just increment by there quantity is 4 and the product name is double a okay so uh, there is the already added in the uh, same uh, same product okay so there is a no need to add uh, another uh, entry in the JSON file so the cart is clear uh, if you want to get information from the other like that uh, total items total amount just you can get uh, by using there like that total items and just total items user id is 7 and the base api is like that And the bearer token is bearer token just click on the sign button here we have a total item is six so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is letter to asp.net core and later videos i will discuss about uh, the orders controller as well okay there is the last testing uh, api so you can check yourself uh, by their post action methods of the uh, categories and the product tables so thank you guys for watching this video please don't forget please subscribe my channel also